And it let me peep and it said, this is the devil's war planning room. I want to give you what I believe right now for us is the nine, ten things that the enemy has planned against the body of Christ at this time. Number one, number one, number one. He wants to break your will to fight. The enemy wants to break your will to fight. He said, if I can break their will to fight, I will be able to control them. I can be able to control them. If I break their will to fight, I can control them. Number two, number two, number two, the devil wants to wear the saints down. He wants to wear you down. He said, if I wear you down, I can own you. If I can just wear them down, then I will be able to own them. Strategy number three, watch this. Divide them and conquer them. Divide and conquer strategy of the enemy is to divide. However, he can bring any type of slander, any type of confusion. If he can pit one person against another, he can put, pit a mother against the father, the husband against the wife, the, the child against the parent, whatever he can do to divide and conquer. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and he understands that well. Number, number four, number four, number four, and I love this one. He says this, watch it. He said, never, it's, it, and this, this, was, this was written. I mean, it was like written, and it was kind of like covered. I remember being covered, and it kind of moved back. He said, never press a child of God too hard. I said, never press a child of God too hard. Watch this, watch this. And in the room, in the situation room, in that war room, in, in, on the sign, on the sign, you know what it said? Please don't squeeze the sink. The devil understands the danger of pressing the child of God into a corner. Ah, Because think, when, when you press a child of God into a corner, I promise you, I'll tell you this much this morning, so I ain't going to leave a cliffhanger. If you press a child of God into a corner, he knows that pressure will cause them to cry out. So he leaves you just enough pressure to keep you murmuring and complaining, cussing and fussing fighting and devouring. He gives you just enough pressure to make you lean toward your flesh rather than the spirit. I can't wait to teach that one to you. Glory to God. I got a whole heap of 5, 10, 11 things to say about that. Hallelujah. Number five, number five, number five, number five, number five. Watch this. Number five, the enemy, the enemy plan, watch this, is the shock and awe. To shock and awe you. Catch you off guard. Blow your mind with something. Send you in an awe. Make your lip fall to the floor. Like, God, what are we going to do? What situation have we gotten ourselves in? What have we done to ourselves? How, how does this happen? The objective, see, in that objective, in that objective, it is to intimidate the believer and leave him spiritually comatose. Shock and awe. You ever seen people in shock? You don't know what to do? Number six, number six. He says, we will impose our will on the saints. We will impose our will on the saints. And by scripture, I will show you there's the enemy's job or enemy's decision to change laws and affect times. And by changing laws and affect times, therefore he imposes his will upon the saints or he'll forcefully impose his will upon you through any physical or emotional tactic. I taught you a principle back this summer, back in May. About the Bible says, submit yourself unto God and the devil and resist the devil and submit to God and the enemy will flee from you. I taught you that principle because if the enemy can convince you that because of how you have lived your life prior to this moment that you have this disease or this situation or this circumstances or, or this is what you birthed because of that, then you will submit to him and believe that what he's doing to you is the will of God. Number seven, number seven. Turn them away from God. The job, the job of the enemy, he said, we got a plan. Here's our plan. We're going to turn them away from God. And, I, and when, I, when I saw that, I saw that in Daniel 7, 25 too. He said, we're going to get lawyers in the right place. We're going to make laws. What they do? What they do? In 1973, one woman stood against all the Christians in America, and the Christians said nothing. She said, you know what? This thing called prayer is coming out of the school. And nobody said anything. Nobody said anything. One woman, she sold oranges. She got up and said, it's time for women to be just like men. 
and nobody said anything. I will trigger, I will turn them away from God by changing laws, by changing laws. Number eight, number eight, number eight, number eight, number eight, number eight. It is to, it is the Trojan horse theory. The Trojan horse uh, trick. Y'all remember the Trojan horse? How they lined this wooden horse as a gift and put all these soldiers inside the horse. And as soon as they got in the main gate where the king at that time would receive the gift, they broke out with their arrows of war and nobody was prepared for war and they overtook that kingdom. The Trojan horse. So what the enemy does, according to the book of Acts 6 chapter, I don't have time to go there today, but it is, it's certain men infiltrated the body of Christ. They infiltrate local congregations and infect them against Christian principles. But if you look at Acts 6 chapter, that's what happened. Some men came in and they convinced the men of that area that Stephen should be stoned. That Stephen was not a man of God. That Stephen stood against everything that their forefathers taught. That Stephen was a harassment to them. And they stoned Stephen to death. Called on his job. And that is what's happening throughout Christendom today. Number nine. Next plan is the Russian crush. Everybody say Russian crush. Russian crush. Russian crush. Russian crush. Why, why would you Russian crush? For, for Ephesians 4, 27 said don't give place to the devil. So don't even give place to the devil. So when you give place to the devil in any area of your life, any area of your life, any area of your life, the enemy's going to rush in right quick and try to snatch you out. He's not going to give you long suffering. The saints long suffer. The devil don't. He takes advantage of every area you give him, every area you give him. I got to give you an example of what I'm talking about. You know, you know what I'm saying? If you decide, especially my young people that are growing up now and becoming uh, 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 aware of who you are as a person, man or woman, and you decide that you're going to start becoming promiscuous, chances are the person who talks you into it will not get pregnant that night, nor will they test positive for HIV. But you will probably... The rate, the, it's, hey, you looking at me funny. Statistics say it happened to the people that are in church because they've been taught against it. Can't nobody talking. Parents, y'all all right? Ain't nobody talking, but it happens to you because you've not been taught to do the things that they do and the secrets that they know about things. You know nothing about those things. So generally, uh, 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 first time, and nobody's going to believe you when you say it was the only time, only did it one time. And what's that other thing? It was only that long. A few minutes. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. M is going to crush. He's rushing and he's crushing. Everybody say rushing and crushing. Rushing and crushing. I, 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 you know, I, I, and I, I've got so many testimonies over the years of pastoring in so many different areas of the things that have happened to people, people's children who were ministered to and shared with, and then they got with the wrong crowd and they made the wrong decision on the wrong night and their life was changed forever. And I do mean forever. I probably I, I had no idea. And I looked at one girl and I said, you got life on the top, but death is working in the bottom. And I had no idea that, that she had contacted the disease that she can't get rid of. 